Alright, so I am starting off with my Smashbox Primer Water, and then I'm just going in with my concealer, which is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. And I have just placed that under my eyes and just really anywhere that I need to cover up any blemishes or anything like that. And then for foundation, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 115. 115 is a little too dark for me right now, but I made sure to blend it down my neck just to kind of make sure that my foundation and my neck match because nothing is worse than when your foundation and your neck do not match. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Duo. And this is in the shade Chocolate. And I am just filling in the brows, just kind of giving them some shape and stuff like that. Um, I love the shade Chocolate. It really matches my hair perfectly. And then to set the eyebrows in place, I am just going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Chocolate. Alright, then to prime my lids, I'm going in with my MAC Pantry Paint Pot, and then I'm taking MAC Brulee, and I'm just using that to set the eyeshadow primer in place. Going into this Morphe palette, I'm grabbing this kind of warm brown color, and using my Sigma E25, I'm just going to run that through the entire crease from the outer corner to the inner corner. And then I'm taking this really pretty dark brown, and I'm just taking my Sigma E55 eyeshading brush and just placing that on the eyelid. So something to keep in mind with this look, we are going for kind of like a bombshell, very sexy look. So it's going to start out as a little bit dramatic and you're going to be like, whoa, what is happening? But trust me guys. Alright, I'm going in with this kind of chocolate color and using an e.l.f. contour brush, I'm just placing that on the very outer corner of the eyelid and also into the crease. And I'm just going to use that Sigma E25 brush to blend it out. And I'm using my Hula Hoop Motions to blend, and I'm also blending this um, from the outer corner to the inner corner. This is kind of where it gets a little crazy, but trust me guys, it's going to look good. Okay, <laughs> then I'm going in with that same e.l.f. contour brush, and I'm actually taking a black eyeshadow. And I am going to place that on the very outer corner, and as I blend this, I'm only blending this on the outer corner of the lid. And also the outer corner of the crease, just really focusing this on the very outer corner. Then I'm going in with MAC Brulee for a brow highlight on my Sigma Large Shader E60. And then for the lower lash line, because this look is kind of top heavy, I want to balance it out. So I am taking the color that we placed on our eyelid and I'm just going to run that across the lower lash line. And then I'm taking the uh, chocolate brown to place on the very outer corner of the lower lash line. And I just used a Real Techniques um, eye shading brush to do that. Okay, and then I'm going into, or then I'm going to apply eyeliner, and I'm just using the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner, and I'm just doing a basic line across the eyelid, nothing too fancy. And then for mascara, I am just using the Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. Y'all, my mascara face. Wow, that is, that is something, y'all. Okay, <laughs> I'm like so serious. Moving on to, um, to clean up the under eyes. This is where we're going to clean up that eyeshadow, clean up that outer corner with concealer. And I'm just using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral. And I am just cleaning up that outer corner and also kind of brightening up the center of my face. As you guys can see, a lot brighter. And then I am going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder in the shade... 30 Warm Nude and just using that as a setting powder. Going into the NYX Contour Kit, I'm grabbing the Banana Shade and I'm just using that to set the under eye area. And then I'm taking this white shade here and I'm just going to use that. I have no idea why I'm pausing. What am I looking at that for? Anyway, um, I'm just going to use that to place on the tops of the cheekbones just to kind of enhance my cheekbones a little bit. And then I'm using this middle contour shade on a Real Technique setting brush and I'm just going to contour the cheekbones. I love using this brush to contour my cheekbones. It just really adds a little something without being too much. Going into the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm just grabbing Amaretto, which is my favorite blush. You guys know I use this in pretty much every tutorial. <laughs> There's not many tutorials that I have not used Amaretto in. And I'm just using a Real Techniques blush brush to apply that. And then I'm going in with Champagne Pop for my highlight on an e.l.f. 
I don't know what brush this is. Oh, I am getting a text. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to take MAC Vanilla and I am just using that to go in the inner corner. Okay, to line my lips, I am using the Grunge Lip Liner from ColourPop. And then for lipstick, I'm going in with the Maybelline Vivid Matte Lippy in the shade Nude Thrill. And that is it for this look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.